We have more information about Demi Lovato this morning from an update on her health to her team trying to stage an intervention weeks ago. Plus, how Selena Gomez is reacting to the news and how her ex visited her in the hospital. And in non-Demi news, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott are reportedly not as solid as they seem. We're talking about all of these things right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Kendra Rocher. Okay, we're gonna start off with everything that's going on with Demi. I feel like that's kind of how our week has mm -hmm. been. Um, there's news coming out about her situation, literally still you guys, by like the hour. Yeah. We're getting new yeah. information. Um, but the latest update about her health, E! News reports that Demi is quote, grateful to be alive and plans on re-entering rehab once she leaves the hospital. Which is great news. A very good news. I feel like she can really only go up from here and mm -hmm. Demi's so strong that she will bounce back, but at the same time, it's just so heartbreaking. Yeah, and it's definitely going to take some time. Yeah. Um, some interesting news also came to light this morning um, about the weeks leading up to her overdose. We've kind of been getting more information, you know, about the night before mm -hmm. and things like that, but now this is weeks leading up um, to what happened on Tuesday. A new report from TMZ states that Demi's team noticed she was, quote, in a bad place a few weeks ago oh. and tried to comfort or confront her about the situation. Oh. And in addition to talking to her about it, TMZ reports that they even tried to hold an intervention, but Demi, quote, blew them off. How awful for, like, her team and her loved ones to be realizing that she's sliding back into this and not being able to do anything about that. Like, well, that's my biggest fear. That's the worst thing I could ever imagine. And that's what's kind of confused me about this whole thing because of Demi's past mm -hmm. I was wondering why people on her team weren't with her almost 24-7 yeah, if they yeah. could see this you know spiraling out of control of course I guess that might be a little unrealistic to think that but she's an A-list celebrity yeah there should be somebody with her. there should be Especially somebody around her somebody who struggles with this I mean they know that she needs help so they should be there to support her and I I think they tried but at the same time like how much can you really do exactly I mean if someone is determined to want to get their hands on something and do something they're gonna unfortunately do they're gonna do yeah. it um, and that led to the events that have been happening in the past couple of days terrible. Um, so despite her ex Wilmer Valderrama you guys I'm sorry I always struggle <laughs> with that last name you know they They've been broken up for quite some time now, but they did date six years. Crazy. Um, e reports that he took time to go see her in the hospital yesterday, which so much respect for them. It's so amazing. I yeah. mean, he was with her like through the entire, like her struggle with sobriety and mm -hmm. getting over her uh, drug abuse. So he was like there seeing all the heartbreak and the pain that she went through. So I'm sure that him hearing about this is just devastating for him. So Absolutely. Of course he's be there yeah, for her. that's basically a source kind of yeah. spoke out for him yesterday, said that he was shocked, mm -hmm. he didn't see this coming. Um, you know, kind of like the rest of us. Yeah. But it's exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. Six years, you see a lot. And, you know, after watching her documentary, I think it's clear that they definitely still love one another. Yes, they just can't sure. be together right now. Yeah. Um, but E reports that he was seen at Cedar sinai the hospital where Demi is currently at, yesterday around 3. Um, he reportedly stayed for over two hours and seemed, quote, very down. I mean, as he, of course, you would think he would be. Um, we know that he was, quote, shocked and not prepared for this, as we said. Mm -hmm. um, but he did know that Demi was struggling, so I think that's interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just, I definitely feel bad for him because I feel like when you are such a prominent figure in someone's life like this, you're kind of like, oh God, what did I miss? Yeah. But yeah. there's no way he could have, you know, He, he probably, this. unfortunately, blames himself a mm -hmm. little bit, which isn't fair because, right. I mean, you can't, like, keep up with every single person in your life. You can only be there for people so much and then they have to do the rest right. themselves. So I can understand why he'd feel that way, but, like, I mean, I and think him, he's a great guy who's doing all he can. Absolutely. Going to visit her is a great great yeah, way to show support. That's so nice. Um, and he's not the only celeb close to Demi that is showing her how much he cares. Selena is as well. So yesterday, we found it odd that out of all of Demi's celebrity friends, Selena remained silent on social media. Right. Her mom posted, but she did not. Mm -hmm. um, but we found out it's not because she doesn't care, it's not because she's too busy, um, which we never really thought was true, yeah, but just we were just like, what what's happening? going on? Yeah. Um, a source spoke to E! News and said, quote, when Selena found out the news about Demi, she was very upset and emotional. And although the two haven't been close for a while now, the source said, quote, they always shared a special bond and they still lo have love for one another. I'm sure Selena was just as in shock as like everybody yeah. else was and needed some time to like process it before she could even like say anything about it. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine how she's feeling. Well, and with childhood friendships like 
you know, the one that Selena and Demi have, just because you don't talk every day or yeah. communicate very often, that doesn't mean that no. that love for that person goes away. Definitely not. Some of my strongest friendships are people who I don't talk to, like maybe in like six months, exactly. but then I see them and we pick right back up. Right. So that's how they are. And like. events like these always bring people together. Yeah. Um, Selena has still not posted about Demi, but that hasn't stopped her from showing her support privately. Mm -hmm. The e-source went on to say, quote, Selena has reached out to Demi's family members to share her love and prayers, and she is really distraught about her health. I wonder if this will bring them back to being close friends. I kind of think it will be. Yeah. Um, Selena was also seen out in LA yesterday wearing a shirt that says, keep the faith. So many think this is her way of publicly supporting Demi instead of posting on social media, which, which cute. I can definitely see that. You know, yeah. I feel like Selena speaks through her shirts a lot. This she kind of happened. Does with this Justin happened Bieber. with Justin Bieber. <laughs> so I feel like you know she kind of stays off social media and she's more about the subtle message, which is good. I like it. Yeah, I wasn't throwing shade at Selena yesterday when I <laughs> like noticed that she had hadn't said anything. I want to clarify that because I read curious. some of the comments. I was just curious, yeah. and now we know what she's doing, yeah. and she's being there for Demi, so Beautiful. I'm good. Amazing. Okay, now we're gonna end on a little bit of a lighter note, kind of. Still not that um, light. Still not great, but you know, it's fine. Kylie and Travis, so despite half of Kylie's fan base thinking that she's pregnant with baby number two, a new report from Star Magazine states that her and Travis Scott are not in a good place. Uh, this I is crushing to, to me. It, I freaking love these two. Right? Yes. I thought they were going so strong, and all of a sudden all this comes out. It's like, no, 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 poor Stormy. I, I completely agree, but I don't, fully believe what okay. the source is saying. Okay, um, I like your whole yeah. attitude. That's a good. source told Star Magazine, quote, behind closed doors, the couple is fighting like cats and dogs, and it may only be a matter of time before they're through. I, I don't doubt that they're fighting. I mean, there's a lot in their relationship. They're both super famous. That's like a ton of pressure, so I'm sure there are fights. But I don't think it'll break them up. Well, and every couple fights and every, oh, you know, I mean, that's what comes that's with what being a relationship a couple. Is. <laughs> um, but it does sound like their constant point of contention um, is the fact that Travis struggles with all the scrutiny that comes with dating Kylie. They briefly discussed this in their GQ interview. Kylie was like, yeah, like he struggles, but he deals with it. Maybe not dealing with it as well as she said in the interview because she's getting annoyed with him reportedly. The source told Star, quote, Kylie is sick of his bad attitude about her fame and schedule. Kylie says it's either her way or the highway. Do you feel like this is maybe a little bit of jealousy from Travis? Because he's might big, be. but he's not Kylie big. No, and I think now he's starting to kind of be known as Kylie Jenner's baby daddy, yeah. Kylie Jenner's boyfriend. Like, he's losing his own identity. Yeah. So I feel like that's where the frustration's coming yeah. from. Not really with Kylie. Yeah, his, his manhood is being threatened. For sure. Classic guy. And exactly what you said. Although I think that they are fighting, I really, really don't think that it's going to lead to a split. I sure hope not. I really hope not. I mean, we've learned, you know, this week how he was, like, so big on giving her confidence mm -hmm. to, like, take out her lip fillers. They might have a baby on the way. I don't I don't really know what's going on with if that. If there's a baby on the way, then they need to stay strong. Half, half of the people think it's happening. Half the people don't think it's I happening. I kind of think it's happening. I kind of think it is, yeah. too. I don't know. It just... Something, she was so good at hiding it the first time yeah. that I'm, I don't believe anything. It's just classic Kylie. We never classic really know what's happening. Kylie. And you know, they've also talked about, there's rumors about that they've talked about marriage and you don't talk about marriage if you're gonna like break up after a couple fights. Yeah. Okay, I'm so just saying. Um, so I'm choosing to be positive and not believe this. Who really knows what's going on? But we're fingers crossed because we want Kylie and Travis to last. Um, you guys, let us know what you think about all of these stories. What do you think about everything um, that's happening with Demi this morning about her, you you know, teen staging an intervention weeks ago about her heading to rehab after hospitalization, Selena Gomez reacting, Wilmer going to visit her in the hospital. Just talk about all of that down there in the comments. And don't forget to also tell us what you think about Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott reportedly fighting all the time. Do you think this is true, not true? Will they get through this phase of their relationship? Talk it out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Bye guys.